Hello all, this is Devika from MIT SD and you're listening to the MIT SD podcast. More people than ever prefer listening to information bits, pro tips or educational content on the go. And this podcast series is here to discuss the latest advancements in different industries, share some cool corporate tips, the opportunities and the strategies that will help you become a pro professional. On this note, I'll hand over the mic to our very own Professor Bonnie Rajesh, the Academic Content Lead for Marketing and Business Communication. Greetings, MIT SD learners. I'm Professor Bonnie Rajesh, and I'm thrilled to guide you through today's podcast on a crucial decision in your academic journey, the specialization dilemma. And guess what? I've got real world industry examples to illustrate our points. So let's dive in. You need to understand your interest. Now let's picture this. You're passionate about sustainability and the environment. In that case, a specialization in environmental management could be your calling. This not only aligns with your interest, but also opens doors to impactful roles like sustainability consultants or environmental policy analysts. The next important thing that you should be doing is assessing your skills. Consider someone with exceptional analytical skills and a love for numbers. A specialization in business analytics could be their golden ticket. In today's data-driven world, professionals skilled in analytics are sought after in various industries, be it finance, healthcare, or even marketing. The next thing that you should be doing is having a deep industry insights. Now imagine exploring a specialization in supply chain management. The global supply chain disruptions of recent times highlight the critical role of experts in this field. It's not just about logistics. It's about orchestrating a very seamless flow of goods and services, a skill in high demand across industries. Next, I would suggest is to network and look for an excellent mentor. Let's say you connect with a mentor who excels in human resource management. Now, their insights into talent acquisition, employee engagement, and organizational development could inspire you to pursue a specialization in human resource. The mentorship provides valuable industry insights and a roadmap for success. You also need to balance your passion and pragmatism. Now, you can consider the student torn between their passion for marketing and the practicality of finance, the compromise, marketing analytics. This specialization combines creativity with data-driven decision-making, catering to both their passion and the market demand for analytics in marketing strategies. So as you navigate the plethora of specializations, remember that success lies in the intersection of your passion, your skills, and the industry demand. Look for that sweet spot where your choices align and the possibilities are endless. That's it for today. Thank you for joining me. I hope these industry-inspired examples help illuminate your path towards choosing the right specialization. As always, make that informed decision, stay curious, and let your academic journey be the gateway to your future success. Until next time, this is Professor Bonnie Rajesh signing off.